battling breast cancer, you don't have to do it alone. There are a series of free seminars coming up at Baptist Health System to provide answers and resources for young women going through treatments and or recovery. Here to tell us more about it is Andrea Case, Kasim, pardon me, Oncology Nurse Navigator with Baptist Health System. Good yes. afternoon. Hi, Mike. Nurse Navigator and breast cancer, what's, what yes, is it? Yes, a great question. So I work as a breast navigator, and what that means is that I work with women um, who have been diagnosed with breast cancer from the time of diagnosis all the way through survivorship. So it's really there to empower women with education so that they can go through their treatment as active participants in their treatment journey. Because I can imagine that diagnosis may feel like, you know, all of a sudden a boulder has just landed right. on you and you're all alone. Yes. They often feel like they're drowning is what I say. And so sometimes navigators are kind of like life preservers. We're there to educate, advocate, and communicate for patients and their families so that they can get their you know, feet up under them and that they can go through their journey a lot easier. And this happens, the first phone call can happen almost immediately, It does. Correct? It definitely happens within the first 24 hours that a woman hears from her doctor that she does have a diagnosis. We try to do it a little earlier if we can, and they come in and they meet with me and we spend as much time as they need on that day and as many days as they need throughout their journey. Well, one of the uh, ladies who benefited from this yeah. is over there with uh, Fiona right yeah. now. Fiona. Oh yes, Molly Elverson joins us. We are so thrilled for you being Thank a survivor. Um, tell us a little bit about your story because you know breast cancer is something your family, some of your family members. Yes, dealt with. Um, my great grandmother and my mother both passed away from breast cancer, um, and so it's something that's always kind of been in the back of my mind. But I didn't expect to get it at 29. I thought I had more time, and I had always been very vigilant about, or diligence, sorry, <laughs> about um, getting, you know, checks and everything and self-checks. Um, but yeah, so it was a month after I got married and I was sitting at work and I felt some pain in my chest and um, got an appointment with my OBGYN and about three hours after I got my diagnosis, I got a call from Andrea. So really I only had about three hours right. of panic right. um, because I was concerned about what am I going to do? How am I going to pay for this? Right. How am I going to find the right doctors? And when you're kind of in that, you know, state of, you know, emotional yeah. stress and worry, I mean, it's hard, it's, you know, it really is just kind of hard to, to focus, you exactly. know, especially on the little details. So, you know, when you were working with, you know, Andrea as a nurse navigator, uh, tell us a little bit about what that was like. Basically, she was my cancer concierge. I mean, she... Um, she introduced me to all of the best doctors in San Antonio. Um, she introduced me to other women who have breast cancer, so that because at the beginning it felt very isolating. I mean, I no one I knew in my age range had breast cancer, and so yeah, I was able to meet other people and know I'm not alone. And also just having someone there that I can talk to. I mean, she's not only been you know super supportive throughout my journey, but also supportive of me as a person. Right and helping me through all of this and the emotional and mental aspects. Well, we are so glad Andrea came into your life and of course, so too. happy for you as well, Mike. And if you wanna find out more about this, the first in the series of seminars is coming up at the end of the month and the interesting sure topic is. for the first seminar. Yes, Mike, are you ready for it? We're gonna talk about sex and breast cancer. Often people don't think that those two words go together, but they absolutely do, especially for our younger women. Well, any woman in general, we need to be talking about that. But because of breast cancer and breast cancer treatment, we've got side effects that impact a woman's sexuality and sexual function. And so getting young women together to talk about how we can make that better for them is what we're and gonna do. Then the subsequent seminars cover everything else. And again, yes. the first free uh, survivorship series for young women is coming up on the 26th at North Central Baptist Hospital from six to 7.30. You can RSVP by calling 210-730-9610. There are more upcoming seminars. You can find out more information on each by going online to baptisthealthsystems.com.